Go sneaky there. Keep driving by my house. I got you on camera every time. Yeah, hey, what's your badge? What's boy. your badge number? Hey, what's your badge number, boss? No? You don't have no right to ask me for my identity. I'm in a private house or a private car. You have no. What's the water? Oh, go. Go. Hey, hey, Hello guys, just a reminder that my channel exists only because of your donations. Thank you to everyone who helps me and from above, I will broadcast your help. Thank you and let's get started. How we doing? How we doing? Good, Debbie Jones, class kind of share, so I was like, sure. badge number, boss? Uh, 5424. 5424? Yep. What you pull us over for? Crack windshield. That's the reason to pull us over? It is. To use your emergency lights? What's that? Oh, you got your emergency lights on. That's for emergency use only. No, it's for traffic stops as well. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Where's your body cam? Is it recording? Yep. I don't think you got a body cam on, boss. What's that? I said, I don't think you got a body cam on. You don't carry a body cam. Why'd you tell me it was recording then? You just liked this it. This right here. That's for what records. That's not body cam like I asked. Okay. You got your license on you? Hell no, I'm a passenger. You know you can't ask me for my license. I can ask. But you're right, I know that. Okay. Alright, Kushma, we're right back. Oh, all by who? What's that? What did you say? Kushma? Or Rodney, whatever. No, that's Sean. Sean, that's what I thought. Okay. Go on, sit tight. Did you ask for my ID when you knew who I was? Why are you guys f***ing with us? This short video is not only to show harassment, but also to make sure that you, like this man, always make sure the cops have their body camera on. This cop just cheated and pretended to, to record on his phone. What? Why are you guys f***ing with us? I'm looking for, we're looking for Rodney. They don't look like Rodney's in my vehicle. Oh, we're just checking. Yeah. That's our job. You, you, you know, you can't be pulling us over looking for somebody else. He almost backed out into me when I went by you. Oh, we seen you there too. Real sneaky there, keep driving by my house. I got you on camera every time. Yeah, hey, what's your badge number? What's bro. your badge number? Hey, what's don't your badge number, right, boss? Yeah, that's funny. What's your badge number, boss? I told you. Not you. Not you, your boss right there. The harassment. Harassment. Drive by my house and then pull us over way out here. Looking for somebody else. Oh, yeah, this is going on the news again. Nine of ten reels. You're actually live right now on Facebook. I'm glad. Get back in the car and just follow directions. No. I'm recording. This causes more trouble for yourself. No, they come all the way five miles, follow us all the way out here to pull me over here. Looking for my cousin that I got nothing to do with, that's wrong. They do nothing but harass me, dude. And I won't be able to show the next story in its entirety, but it's something to share. Three San Antonio police officers are charged with murder in the fatal shooting of a woman. Three San Antonio police officers have been charged with murder in the fatal shooting of a woman who was experiencing what the city's police chief said was a mental health crisis. Sergeant Alfred Flores and officers Eleazar Alejandro and Nathaniel Villalobos were suspended without pay and later arrested on murder warrants in the shooting death of Melissa Perez when she refused police orders to come out of her apartment. One of the three charged officers opened fire, McManus said, after Perez first threw a glass candlestick at the officers, then swung a hammer at them. All three officers then fired when Perez approached them again with the hammer, hitting her at least twice, according to McManus. Court records do not list attorneys who could speak on behalf of the three officers. Hey, lady, get over here. Perez was suspected of cutting the wires to a fire alarm, a felony, at the apartment complex and was talking to fire officials about 12.30 a.m. Friday when an officer approached and tried to get her to walk toward a patrol car, McManus said. You're going to get shot! I can't believe they shot that woman through the door. I'm glad they're charged, but it looked like they were playing a video game. It appeared that Miss Perez was having a mental health crisis, McManus said without offering further explanation, and she then ran into her apartment. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? The video then shows an officer on the patio of Perez's apartment removing a window screen as Perez shouts, Stop it! And you ain't got no warrant! An unidentified officer shouts, you're going to get shot, to which Perez replies, shoot me, you ain't got no warrant. The sound of glass breaking is later heard, followed by two volleys of gunshots. 
McManus took no questions, citing ongoing investigations into the shooting by the police department's internal affairs and civil rights divisions and the Bexar County District Attorney's Civil Rights Division. Other officers were also at the scene, but none are expected to be charged, although all will be investigated for their actions. The shooting officer's actions were not consistent with SAPD's policy and training. This incident will continue to be thoroughly investigated, as are all officer-involved shootings, McManus said, while expressing condolences to Perez's family. And the following video is about how a man had to defend himself in order to preserve his civil rights and to prevent an illegal search. Nothing in plain sight. He committed a speeding infraction. It's an infraction. Can I explain to you what's going on? I don't, I'm not a, I'm not a, look, I got no problem with you guys doing your job. <laughs> I'm not, a, I'm coming back from work. I get it. You're not going to foot handcuffs on me and hurt me We're not gonna like you're hurting my friend. Both you're hurting my friend for no reason at all. I didn't do anything wrong. I have no weapons. You're, you're more than willing to pat, Malcolm to pat me down. Okay. But that's where it stops. You're not taking shit out of my pocket. You're not, I'm a citizen. I didn't commit a crime. No. I'm not saying hey, sir. Yeah. So, um, sir, 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 sir. Okay, I'll do respect. I didn't commit a crime. You pulled my friend over to fight, write him a ticket. What it goes on with him is his problem, not mine. Okay, hey, sir. I just want to backtrack a little. You said that it'd be fine if I had you step out. We could pat you down. If I get your identification, then guess what? You'll be on your way, sir. Would that Brother, you don't have no right to ask me for my identity. I'm in a private house or a private car. You have no right to ask me for anything. Okay. I haven't I committed a crime. I told you what's going on. As I understand it, he was driving together with a friend. And they started asking the friend uh, for his driver's license. But for what reason they decided to search the man is unclear. I'm going to step away and talk to my supervisor. Okay? I haven't committed a crime. That's going, man. Hey, how you doing, sir? Martinez. Hey, what's up, Martinez? How you doing, man? Good, man. I'm trying to stay warm out here. Dude, I'm trying to get home, man. I've been working my ass off all day long. I hear you. I haven't committed a crime, haven't done anything wrong. I'm sitting in the front. He pulled him over for a speeding ticket, as his own words. Write him a ticket, do whatever you're going to do to him, but do it to him. I didn't, I didn't have nothing to do with it. Okay. You, you, I know my rights. Yeah, yeah. All right. You have no right to even ask me my name. So how's your day going anyways? Good, man, good. Right on, brother, right on. Warm, you know? Yeah, these are the days. It sucks out here for you guys, huh? You know what? Job, you know, right? You know what I mean? I'm trying to do my job. That's it. Yeah. That's what we're trying to do. Sometimes your job sucks. If it means anything, these guys are good guys. No, I understand. And I believe it. Yeah, yeah. And, I, and I sympathize with what you guys are doing out here. Yeah. But don't disrespect me. I pay my bills. I pay my... No, I didn't do nothing wrong. You're not You're not going to... No. There's no, there's no weapons in motion. There's no nothing. No beers, no booze, yeah. nothing. We're drinking coffee and sodas, going home from work. My boy's going to be mad at me because I asked him to come get me. Cops can ask for ID, but as a passenger, you don't have to provide it. However, cops can order you out of the car. If they order you out, calmly step out and state you do not consent to any search and then explicitly state. Also calmly, you are asserting your right to remain silent. Yeah, I don't know what happened, but... He came over, said it was a simple, it was a traffic ticket. They need to check the car. Well, check the car. If you come back and tell me the car's stolen, then I'll get out. Because I, I know you can call his dad right now and his dad will tell you who he is. Who's got the car? But other than that, I ain't done nothing wrong. I ain't committed a crime. You understand why we took him out, right? No, I understand, bro. I understand. I'm, hey, I'm not. That's on him. That's on him, brother. I got no. You know, he's a grown man. He knows. Yes, you can. Your investigation. No, your investigation is is running the plate and finding out. The investigation is running the plate and find. Here, you don't want the car going anywhere. Here, the investigation is running the plate. Yeah. And run it. You know, no disrespect, man. I haven't searched your car, man. Hey, I'm video recording the whole thing, brother. This was a this was a shifty ass move to get us out of the car. I ain't committed no crime. I'm not getting out of the car. Honestly, the first thing you need to do is stop talking to them. All this unnecessary talking is pointless. Don't say anything. Try to control your emotions, keep your composure, and keep recording. Hey, ma'am, how are you? I'm good, ma'am, how are you? I'm good. Um, I'm tired, I, I'm trying to get home from work. I, I understand that you guys got a hard job, I understand what's going on. Okay, but I ain't committed no crime. I've been a, I'm a passenger in a private vehicle. Okay, you have no right, no right whatsoever per the United States Supreme Court to even ask me my name, ma'am. Actually, we do have a right. No, ma'am, you don't, not in a private vehicle. There's no warrant, there's nothing else, you have no right. It's, it's, it's stood many times. 
okay? I got no problem with you guys doing your investigation. I, I sympathize with you. I really do, okay? But to sit here and lie, hold on, to sit here and lie uh -huh. and tell him that it's a traffic ticket and then, oh, step out of the car. That's on him. That's not on me. I'm sorry, ma'am. I got no problem stepping out. I got no problem standing there, okay? I got no problem being a citizen, okay? But you're not going to handcuff Excuse my language, ma'am. You're not going to handcuff me for no damn reason at all. I didn't do anything. I'm coming home from work. I've been working all day long. I'm tired, ma'am. Just like you at the end of your shift. That's nice. Other than that... Okay. The officer explained to you what... Friends, share your opinions in the comments. What can you recommend to do in such situations and how to protect yourself? Perhaps your advice will uh, save someone from being arrested why they stopped right because we were speeding and the reason why you we can't pull so you far, out it's only why 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 there's a, a case why 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 can you pull me out hold on why can you pull me out probable cause right probable cause of what there's they know it's not. They, they know it's not stolen. They know it's not stolen. Hold on. They know the car's not stolen. He doesn't have identification. Ma'am, they know the car. He does have identification. He he just doesn't have his license. Okay. They know the car's not stolen. We're still. They're still determining that right now. Ma'am, if so you find the car stolen, give us, give if you find the car stolen, I'll step out. But I didn't do anything wrong. Okay. Give us. Some I just want to go home. That's it. I want to go home. We'll, uh, get his information. Thank you, ma'am. We'll, we'll be right with you. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Cops are often just looking for a reason to search you. Here's another case like this where they tried to do it with no objective reason. Right? You got arrested for it. What'd you say I'm free? Well, now we're, we're dealing with it. What's happening today? I'm not. I don't it was happening today. <laughs> That's what we're going to find out. Let him do his job. We have the canine here. Go ahead, do the your job. The canine's going to run the vehicle. The vehicle, if the canine alerts, gives us probable cause to search the vehicle. Okay, you go ahead. That? Yeah, go ahead. He's a certified yeah, ass hat, huh? I'm, I didn't, oh God. No, Don't let, even say nothing. You ain't going to say nothing. Let them do their job. Are they going to get out? They're going to say They're not going to get out. Yeah, we're not on paperwork. Okay, here's the deal. I'm yeah. going to run my canine. My canine's trying to okay. alert to narcotics, concealed people. Okay. And currency as well. Okay. Once my, if my dog alerts, at that point, I have probable cause for a warrantless search, okay? Okay. So we're going to go from there. Okay, you want me to run the window down for you? Off the trip? That's fine. Okay. Just don't. There you go. Let me help you. Deputy dickhead right here. Oh, that's bullshit. How you gonna automatically kill somebody and push me? They don't even know. know. Just pull. Yeah, I don't build on this shit. That shit ain't even in the system. I know a car. Ooh. If it was a car, they would have pulled you out the car immediately. True. She was right not to let them search the inside of the car. So, the only thing they had to do was use the canine. But you and I have already dealt uh, with how cops give uh, signals and if they need it, the dog will start barking as uh, if you have something in the car. Friends, write your opinions in the comments. I think we have a lot to discuss and anyone who wants to support me, I ask you to send how much you can spare by pressing the things button. This channel exists only because of you.